How's it everyone and welcome to my channel. This is uh, Football Manager 2018. This will be my first save on it. So it's the beta version. As you can see it's still the beta here. Um, release date for FM 2018 is on the 10th of November. So I'm going to be hitting this running. Um, try to do my best. This will be my first FM video. I hope you guys enjoy it and you like it. Um, any comments and that you must just let me know whatever you think I should change or do advice yeah just hit me up I'm always open so let's get this started eh? so I've decided to play uh, carry on from a previous save that I was doing in FM 17 which I was trying out in the Vanarama National League so lower league management it's very tough very hard but it's a challenge, you know, it's the whole idea of this game is to challenge. I don't see a point in starting in Premier League or top divisions and you're already there. I want to work my way up. So yeah, so I've had a tough choice on which two teams. I had two choice of two teams that I was going to play with. I was either going to use Halifax here, but then I decided I'm going to carry on with Rexham because I was doing pretty well with Rexham in FM17. And um, as far as I can understand, they, they've been around since 1866, I think it is. And they've never gone higher than um, L2, uh, L1. They've never been, never been higher than L1, so let's see what we can do, eh? Well, they've been higher than L1, but not in recent years. Uh, I think the last time they were in L1 was in the mid-60s, mid-70s, somewhere there. So let's see what we can do with them. I'm going to hit an advanced setup so that I can load a big database. Yeah, this it's FM18 is pretty cool. I've just done a rough run through it so far. Um, I've seen some pretty cool videos on YouTube. A uh, very good YouTuber that I've been watching quite a lot that's helped me out a lot recently with FM17. You must hit him up. His name is uh, Troy from FM Life. A uh, very nice person, very helpful. And yeah, um, is, uh, any help that you need, I'm sure he'll probably help you out. But yeah, so let's just get this all loaded. And once I got it all loaded, I will get back to you guys. So the database is all loaded up. Um, and uh, obviously I'm going to use my own name and all that. But uh, my nationalities, I've changed it. I'm not, I'm not actually Spanish, I'm South African. But uh, I've changed to Spanish so that it's my scouting and that is much better because there is zero talent in South Africa. Nothing whatsoever. Um, maybe one or two but nothing worth talking about. Um, I've given myself a little bit of a cheat manager um, solely because uh, it's very difficult to get decent attacking managers and that in lower league. And I prize myself on attack. I enjoy my attack a lot. And uh, I'll enjoy working with youth. I want to do quite some good youth uh, progression in this, this save as well. Try and use as many youth players as I possibly can. Try and get as an average of about 25 year olds in my squad and develop some youth players. Uh, but yeah, obviously in the first two or three seasons, the youth players are not so great because I've got to up my youth le level as well as training level. But hopefully this will help us out a little bit. So this is we're now in the game. It's my inbox. Um, as you can see, the, I've, I've just been hired for Walks walk, Rexham. Excuse it. Sorry about that, uh, Rexham. Um, I'm gonna probably refer to them as much as I can as the Red Dragons, as they are pretty much known as the Red Dragons. Um, yeah, um, just welcoming me in as my welcome letter, which I'll tend to just now. Transfers is like transfers that I've loaned in. Um, but obviously I'm going to try and see if I can get some more loan players in. Um, injury lists are on the injury list. Responsibilities. I would like to try and do as many of the responsibilities as myself. Um, but I might just hand a little bit off to the assistant manager. But only once I've hired a decent assistant manager. Um, first of all, as I mentioned earlier, you can watch uh, FM Life uh, on Troy's videos. He ex describes and explains before you hit this big red button up here make sure that you've done 
your coaching scouts and your coaches some extra um, scouts as well maybe change your assistant manager you lose less money once you have um, terminated contract and that so we don't want to you be going through the save with uh, half decent coaches we want to have some decent coaches for this league and so forth but yeah it's the whole change the whole look of this whole game is it's changed so much and um, i'm using the skin at the moment i'm using is just the basic fm dark skin um but yeah it's really nice uh, if you want to go through all these tabs um i'll leave a link in the my description down below and you can check fm scout uh, fm life troy's video he explains what goes through all these all the new add-ons and features and all that very interesting to watch um yeah so let's get going to as you can see my transfers i got 112,000. i uh, just want to use euros for because everyone uses pounds so it's just for shits and giggles wage budget 22,000. currently spending 15,000. so that gives me roughly about 7k that i can play around with to get some maybe uh sign some new new talent in i'm going to try and use as much as a free free transfer as much as i possibly can um my overall budget is 600 uh, 600k and i'm making a loss of profit loss of 716 so that's not too bad so yeah um let me get through the formalities of the introductions and all that from the club and then i'll get back we'll start i'll walk you through what i've done what i'm gonna do and try and hit you up with the first game which will probably be first friendly is more comb let's do it so this is uh the season expectations and um, i've done some 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 staff rearranging i'm just waiting for the new staff to come in and then i will show you guys who I've got in and uh, basically why I got them in so what I've done for the season expectations I want to do a top half finish um, solely because I'm not really sure if I'll make uh, reach playoffs a promotion as, as this is a new game compared to 2017 um, a lot of new things in it a lot it's it's completely different so I've got to try and see I'm expecting to be in the Van der Arme National League for maybe two seasons, but let's hope we get a bit further. The English FA Cup, I've gone for reach a second round. I don't want to overreach too much. But at least gives me a slightly better, as you can see, it gives me a little bit better of a transfer budget as well as a wage budget. But my main reason is for the wage budget. And likewise with the FA Trophy, also don't really want to overreach too much, but I probably won't even reach the fourth round. But yeah, let's just confirm that. So the transfer window has started. Um, I don't have any scouts or anything. I basically have no staff. Uh, I can show you all the staff. Um, yeah, it, these two are basically it. You know, myself and two scouts. But uh, I've also set them for release reason being that I set them for release that their scouting is not good this judging player ability is only eight and player potential is at six that's for a chief scout that's really bad and uh, data analyst uh, it's also not so great it's seven six and seven I need to still get a data analyst or see how that will work out so I haven't got a staff so we can actually do that together let's see if we can get a staff's data analyst um as you can see i've been looking for sports science uh, let's go scouting chief data analyst uh, this is all new to me so i'm still trying to figure things out what i need to do where i need to go oops So let's just check how what is required for a data analyst. Data analyst is judging player data, judging team data, and presenting data. 
So those are, will be our main categories on it. So we just edit this, edit, so it's, can I get you a quick and easy, no. It's just all new. It's like everything is redone, so it's a bit difficult. You got to try. I got to try and still figure out where everything is and how it's all done. We want J judging player ability data, presenting data, judging team data as well. Just put that in. Like that. Also, one thing that they haven't fixed is whenever you add something new. It always goes above the names so we want to get we don't need that we don't need that sports science we don't need we can move not those we just put those in there would have been a bit of a bugger if we had removed all that but let's take a look and see what they've given us judging team data in player potential judging player data I don't really need to move that team data. Let's see what's go to the highest level. See, I want to try and get my determination, discipline, and motivation all even, like a 10 or above, if possible. What I can see it's that just need play potential. I'm going to take him, even though his motivation is a bit low. Um, the only reason for Taking him is he's got uh, judging team data is at 14, player potential is at 10, and player data is at 12, which out of the lot is probably the best one that I can go for. Um, not really the best, but let's see. Yeah, I think he would probably be the best one I'd go for at the moment. Uh, we can always upgrade it later. So I would have gone for this guy here, but he's got a problem here. So judging player potential is not so great. So Rob Pierce, we're going to offer you a contract. See what he will take. So we're going to become a senior data. If data. He wants five. Just no, I'm not going to give you wage promotion because I probably won't keep you for that much longer if I get promoted and finalize. So, welcome, Rob Piers. Let's hit the next button because now I need to go with the next button so that I can get some team players in that in. So, I get some free signings. I have no scouts, I need to scout some players. This is something interesting, this new squad dynamics introduction. Sort of dynamics within the squad in order to keep you informed. So basically, like I said, if you want a, a good run around on this, um, go to FM Life. Um, the link will be in the description. You go to the FM Life and they will you'll explain to you what all this this stuff means. So it's it's really cool, it's, it's very nice. Uh, so let's introduce myself to the squad. Want to introduce myself? Uh, go for the passion. I think we're going to go up as champions. No, I'm positive about the chances, and I think we can go and make a playoff season. I think a top half finish for this season. Let's see what they say. Oh, are they happy about that? That's exactly the sort of reaction I was wanting. At least their morale's gone up a little bit. That's good. Um, dressing room atmosphere is. Fairly good average. Um, their managerial support is very good, which is nice. So we need to get that to excellent. Uh, team leaders. These are obviously my team leaders here. Mark Carrington and Sean Pierce Pearson. No highly influential players, which is not a good thing. From what I've gathered, from what I've understand from SI, this is not a good thing. Influential players, well, it's not too bad. And then you've got 14 others. So we can go into dynamics and we can see the hierarchy and we can see who everybody is in the team. So obviously, there's my team captain and uh, somebody else, Mark Carrington, Sean Pearson, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, Sean Pearson. 
um, two current players in the actual Wrexham squad. As far as I know, most of these are all current players. Um, James Jennings is, is from the 2017 as well. In the previous save on 2017, he was a brilliant complete wing back for me. I trained him as a complete wing back uh, solely because of the formation I use and because he's good at crossing, he's good with his support. Um, but I do use him, I will probably use him as attack as you see your attack doesn't change much. So my tactic won't be based around him. But it will be based around a back to the central wing backs pushing up the field. I'll explain it to you when I show you my tactic. It's yeah, this is what it's, the hierarchy look, looks like in the social core groups. And from what I understand, these players here that are at other are your new transfers, they don't really fit into anything. But I still am looking, might look at changing my captain because I have a way of selecting a captain, um, which I've done a lot of research on, a lot of scouting, checking on the internet and that. And uh, yeah, just it, for interest sakes, I will show you out how it's all done. Um, this here is something new as well team leaders, influential players, and other players. And this is obviously morale, satisfaction on training, and all that. Uh, he has got slight concerns on overall happiness. Um, but uh, we'll take a look at that and see. James Hurst, uh, never heard of most of these players. So if I pronounce their names and that wrong while I'm reading them, my biggest apologies. I don't need to go to team meeting because we've already had a team meeting. Um, so uh, yeah, let's head it to tactics. Now I don't have an assistant for tactics, but I do have a tactic which I've already created. <coughs> oh, come on. Sorry, my bad's popping there. So this is the tactic that I use. Four, one, two, three. Um which is, I used it in 2017 and uh, I did pretty well with it. I got Rexham up into the Premier Division, but obviously I didn't play much. I think I played only eight games in the Premier Division and I was sitting at 17th. So we're going to try and see if we can do better this time around. So this is a tactic, but I'm going to load it up three times in all three slots. And the reason being, because once you've loaded up in three slots, you will be able to, the fam fa familiarity of the tactic will go up pretty quick and it is definitely a controlled tactic on fluid shape team instructions there's quite a bit of team instructions tempo is higher uh, time wasting very fairly rarely uh, it's narrow shape closing down sometimes use offside trap that stays on normal from what I can remember Guys, if I cut off, it's just because I just need to double check on my FM17 what the full tactic is. I can't really remember it too much. I know it gets stuck in. That's all highlighted. Uh, pass into space. Uh, shorter passing. Retain position. Be more expressive. Uh, play out of the box. Uh, look for overlaps. And work ball into the box. Run at defense. And I uh, can't remember if that was run from position was there, but I do remember this was whipped crosses. So basically what this tactic is going to use is you're going to get your inside forwards. They're going to come in like this. And you're going to get your false nine. He's going to be patrolling up and down here, up and down here. All my two IFs will be going in and out like this. In and out like that with your CWBs pushing up all the way up like this to support sometimes even further but most of the time you'll find your IF here putting crosses to the opposite side which is a pretty good tactic um, I'm sure most of you know how the tactic works already uh, if you've played FM for a long time you'll know how, uh, how the wings in that will change around and support each other, but uh, I pretty pretty much use attack there, attack there, defensive there, and this is a complete wing back on attack, and this will also be a complete wing back 
on attack. I've got some pre presets already loaded here. So let me just load up this preset here, which is it's all pretty awesome now. I can just do this. I just hit the preset, just load it up, and then we've got it going there. And um, likewise on the other side, let's go here. And we go to the preset, load it up, and we're done. Central Defenders presets as well. Let's load those up. Load my Central Defender presets up. Now, once I've got it all loaded, I will explain to you guys what's going on. So, I'll catch you in a bit. So, guys, this is basically the formation. As you can see, I've done all the team instructions. Uh, player instructions, sorry. Um, so yeah, it's, it's pretty much the same. Uh, nothing too hectic about it. Uh, and then team instructions is 15 if I'm not mistaken. As you can see, I want my wings to do overlapping. I'm going to play it out of defense with a higher tempo, a fluid shape, on a counter, a control, sorry, very narrow. Um, closing down sometimes. Um, closing down more. Uh, passing is shorter passing. Playing out of defense, pass into space, retain position, be more expressive, get stuck in, use tighter marking, prevent short goal, keep a distribution, run at defense. Uh, work ball into the box as well. So it's it's a very it's a high pressured tactic, a very very controlling tactic, which is going to be a good thing for me. And um, it's, uh, it's time now, I think, to the filters. Let's go senior squad only. Let's see who we can start throwing into the team. I don't really know much people here. I know James Jennings will be. Yeah, this is all new to me. There we go. That's better. James Jennings will be in. Um, Mark Carrington will be in uh, list changes. So we need to get a uh, report. I don't want reports. I want selection. Uh, um, Mark Carrington is defensive midfielder. Right, I'm wrong. Let's see where his best position would be. Carrington, right midfielder. Sorry, guys. That's like I said. This is got to get used to all this new stuff they've got going on here. Um. This whole road. Let's see what he can do as an inside forward. Uh, his crossing is not so great, but my main thing for this for lower, lower league management is your physical attributes. He needs physical attributes to eventually get your crosses and stuff through. So he's not he's not too bad. Um, See this guy's stats now. This guy's a better player. Let's go for inside forward. Crossing his dribbling is not bad. Um, decisions is not great. His determination is terrible. Acceleration is not bad. Pace, natural fitness is terrible. So that's a bit of a bummer there. Let's keep looking for some more attacking midfield. Let's put it by position so we can see what we're doing. Daniel Stevens. See yeah, how it's not, not going to work there. It's a fullback, uh, complete wing back. Terrible, terrible, terrible. 17 years old, he's an infant still. So he's not going to be on the list, say so. We'll change him up. Leo Smith, I know, is a youth player as well. Uh, Leo Smith's a youth player, but he's not bad. Um, I think I might just use him, but for now, let's put Leo Smith as a 
Just for now, we're going to put him as a sub so we know he's in the squad. Baron Brown, central midfielder. This is a new, new that's new to the to the game. That is also new to the game. I'm going to have to fiddle around with them before I figure them out. Um, but let me just finish selecting the squad, and then we'll take it from there. So guys, I've done my selection. This is my team basically. Um, as you can see, the fam familiarity of the team is not bad at all. They are up at the top there. Um, I'm still to figure out what these colors on analyzing means. Um, but as far as I can understand, it's got something to do with space and uh, how good they can mark in the territory and all that. Um, I know that normally if you get a good link up between players, they eventually have aligned, like joining each other, could be having something like get spider lines that can join up into each other, which it could be a good thing to have. Um, I haven't selected any reserves because uh, it's, it's still friendly, so I'm going to basically put everybody as a reserve. The top fill up the bench completely and uh, just take it from there but this is what i'm going to start with in my um first first few games and uh, let's go to the schedule mm, schedule there um i've got one two three four five friendlies but uh, i might change it up i might add some more if i arrange some more friendlies as you can see i've got some space here maybe one or two in the training camp uh, we'll see um the only reason why I'll add more friendlies in is basically for the whole process of learning the tactic and uh, that is the best thing before the very first game against Macclesfield. And uh, so guys when I'm going to play through I'm going to get some new players, sign some new players and that and once I got the coaches in we're going to run through it and um, I'll bring you the very first game of the league. Uh, probably bring it live but that will probably be in the next episode but yeah thanks very much for for watching if you guys can give me any updates and all that and what you think um, as you know I got no staff they basically all gone um, I got uh, medical staff as well as all gone medical center is pretty cool finances I still got some decent finances which I'm going to use um, I've gone into the minus because of the the staff members I've kicked out but uh, we can adjust that by doing some cup friendlies which through the course of the season but uh, thanks very much for watching and uh, hit us a like and uh, yeah and subscribe please thanks guys take you next episode